How's it going guys? I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Uh, in front of me I have a Zaku by Jax 3D Printing. Uh, this frame was designed by Florian Zagrid and uh, it is a five and a half inch frame. It is designed for clean HD footage without props in view. So as you can see the GoPro is uh, lower than your FPV feed which is a really nice feature to have when you're uh, just doing some slow cruising and uh, some long range really gives you some uh, nice HD footage and when you're uh, low to the ground you really get that aspect. So uh, the frame itself has four millimeter arms, two millimeter uh, top plate and bottom plate. Uh, there's multiple mounting options in here on uh, this one. This is a first rendition so it's uh, going to be a little different than what you guys are going to get if you uh, order one uh, from uh, Jax 3D Printing. So I have my Cadex Vista in the rear. And in fact, on the one that uh, you guys will be buying, it has the uh, 20 by 20 mounting option on the front, and that's where you would want to mount your uh, Cadex Vista. And if you're going to go with a DJI Air unit, you'll uh, want to mount that in the back. And uh, if you're going to do that, you need to grab a longer uh, camera coax cable, uh, just so you have a little more room to uh, get it in there. Uh, this frame by itself weighs 106 grams and uh, that's just with the carbon and the hardware. Uh, here I'll flip it around so you guys can get a get a nice look at everything. Uh, there is multiple options for the TPU. Uh, all of them are going to be this style with the FPV feed over the GoPro. Uh, there is a platypus tail for your GPS. Uh, yeah, there's just tons of different options that's available. And uh, if you have something you want to have custom uh, built for you, you could just uh, let Jack Higgins know what you're looking for and uh, he will get it done to you. Every time I deal with Jack, he's uh, real speedy on time and just does perfect. He, he just keeps, if he needs to, he'll re redo what he has for you until it's right and perfect for you. So uh, the all-up weight with a 1500 uh, milliamp LiPo 6S is 831 grams with this frame. Uh, I did get out and fly it and uh, I put an 1800 on there as well and I was getting 8 minutes of flight time which is uh, just really good. Uh, I, I really like the style, I like the way it flies, it looks good. It uh, balances out really nicely, especially with your GoPro and your battery on it. And the footage uh, just lives up to uh, what it's built for. Everything works out really well and uh, is well designed on this frame. I'm really happy with it. We'll throw up a couple clips of some uh, flight footage that I got.
All right, we'll go over the build that I have on this frame right now. It's actually the CL Racing uh, F7 V2 flight controller. Uh, I have the Diatone Mamba F50 Pro ESC in there. These are just uh, parts I had laying around, so I uh, put this thing together real quick so I could get some uh, test flights in and uh, let you guys know what I thought about the frame. Uh, 2206 1700 kV motors. They are Xylo and they are Xylo Stealth actually. And then I just have a RDQ GPS on here just for uh, the return home feature because uh, my intentions with this is to uh, take it out quite a ways. Uh, I'm running, like I said, the 1800 uh, milliamp lipos on it and I actually have some 2200s that I ordered. So we'll see how those go. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out, and uh, yeah, I highly recommend this frame. It's uh, really easy to work on, everything's straightforward, and uh, it seems to be really durable, and uh, it's a really great cruiser. So if that's what you're in the market for, again, I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching the video, and again, if you need to uh, get a hold of this frame, you'd go to Jack's 3D Printing, and he will take care of you. I'll leave a link in the video description. Thanks. Peace.